Okay guys, welcome to your first video with your terrible math teacher, that would be me. Okay, today I'm going to show you guys how to divide decimals. Your objective today is as a student you should be able to divide decimals with one digit divisors. So this is your first video, this is the easiest video. Please make sure you are taking notes on your graphic organizer. Please remember that we do have, we do have our steps to division on the right side. They are right here. We got them circled. And we're going to go ahead and get rid of those before we get started. First thing you always need to do, that you always absolutely need to do, is you need to identify where the decimal is in your divisor. It is right there. We never, ever want a decimal in our divisor. We always want to move it to this wall. Okay, in order to do that, we are going to simply take our decimal point and swing it over until we get to the wall. Okay, we noticed that that was one place. Okay, so since that was one place on the outside, we're also going to go ahead and do one place on the inside. And we also went to the right, so we're going to go to the right on the inside. So we're going to take our decimal and we're going to move it one place to the right. Okay, our new decimal point would be between the 6 and the 4. Okay. Once we have it placed, we're going to go ahead and put it on top in our answer. Okay. Now that it is on top and in line, we are set to divide. Because we only had to move one place, we are ready to divide like normal. I'm going to go ahead and erase your stuff. Okay. Now we just simply ask ourselves, how many times does 2 go into 1? Well, the answer to that is 0. How many times does 2 go into 12? 2 times 6 is 12. So 6 times 2 is 12. We subtract, we get 0. Hey, we compare a 0 less than 2, yes. So we go ahead, and next step that we do is go ahead and bring down our 6. How many times does 6 go in... I'm sorry, how many times does 2 go into 6? And that would be 3 times. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 minus 6 gives us 0. Yep, it's less than 2. Go ahead and bring down your next number, which is a 4. Okay. How many times does 2 go into 4? Well, that would be 2 times. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. Okay. Now, we have nothing left over, so we are done. We need to go ahead and make sure we have our answer at the top, and it would be 63.2. That is your answer for the first one, or 63 and 2 tenths. Let's move on to the next example. Our next example is 14 and 2 tenths divided by 0 and 2 tenths. Please, please, please always remember that the first number goes inside the division box. Here is our division box. We have 14 and 2 tenths. We have 0 and 2 tenths on the outside. Okay. We first look at our divisor. Our divisor has a decimal, so we need to move it to the wall. It takes one place because there is one digit between the wall and the decimal point. If we move it on the outside, we must also do the same thing on the inside of the house. Put it to the here, and we go ahead and rise it to the top. Now that we're done, we can go ahead and divide like normal. How many times does the number 2 go into 1? That would be 0. But 2 does go into 14. It goes 7 times. 7 times 2 is 14. 14 minus 14 gives us 0. 0 is less than 2, so we go ahead and bring down our 2. How many times does 2 go into 2? Well, it goes in 1 time. 1 times 2 is 2, we subtract, and there's nothing left over. In this particular case, we have nothing to the right of the decimal, so our answer is simply 71. If you put 71 in a decimal, that is okay. However, it should always have a 0 at the end. Either one of those is correct. Okay. Let's move on to the next example. Okay. We have 25 and 5 tenths divided by 1 and 5 tenths. This one is a little bit more difficult. Remember, the first number always goes inside the house. Okay, and we have 1 and 5 tenths. Once again, we go ahead and our decimal on the outside in our divisor has one place away from the wall. 
go ahead and do that and move it. Do the same thing on the inside. Once we move it on the inside, we put it on top, and we start our division. We have 15. Does 15 go into 2? Well, no, it does not, so we're going to go ahead and put a 0. Does 15 go into 25? Yes, it does, one time. 1 times 15 is 15. We subtract, and we will get 10. We need to go ahead and add our 5. And we have 105 divided by 15. How many times does 105 or how many times does 15 go into 105? Well, that would actually be 7. 7 times 15 is 105. 105 minus 105 is 0. There is nothing left over. Our answer is simply 17. Okay, we have one more example to go. Here it is, please. Here. On your graphic organizer, please make sure that you've got example four ready to go. Okay? Remember, your objective is, as a student, you should be able to divide decimals with one-digit dividers. Okay? If you need help after this example, please sign up for a workshop with Mr. Williams or another adult in the classroom. Here we go. This number is the first one. We're going to go ahead and put it inside the box. 1.68. Okay? On the outside is 8 tenths. You move your decimal one time to get it to the wall on the outside. If you do it on the outside, you must also do it on the inside. Okay. You can go ahead and put your decimal on top. Okay. How many times does 8 go into 1? 8 does not go into 1, so we put a 0. How many times does 8 go into 16? Well, that would be 2. 2 times 8 is 16. 16 minus 16 is 0. It's less than 8, so we bring down our 8. How many times does 8 go into 8? Well, that's 1 time. 1 times 8 is 8. We subtract and we get 0. We have nothing left over, so we are done. Our final answer is 2 and 1 tenth. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of your lesson. Please make sure that you turn in your graphic organizer if you are asked to do so. And also, please remember that if you need some help after starting on your independent tasks, please sign up for a workshop. I'm glad you loved this horrible, horrible video that Mr. Williams made for the first time ever. Thank you. Goodbye.